Now to a story we've been covering for some time when you and I have chatted about this uh, and the Age newspaper has now published data backing up precisely what we've been talking about and that's Victorian Labor's war on property investors. The, the Age revealed the number of rental properties in Victoria has fallen by over 10,000, Dan, in just three months. In the past year, nearly 16,000 rentals disappeared from the market. And it shouldn't be a shock when we look at the Labor government's war against uh, mum and dad property investors. Uh, they've got increased land tax. They've got... Uh, bunch of unreasonable minimum standards that are being imposed on them and no wonder mum and dad investors are putting their hard earned <coughs> elsewhere but Dan I mean this is just catastrophic for renters because the number of properties available for rental are diminishing and of course rents are going up. Well that's right Rita look you've got two problems here you've got the um the accelerator has been pushed on demand with the mass migration program, which has been completely out of control mm. for two years now. It's been at record levels. Uh, our analysis showed that 70% of new builds last year were taken up by international students alone uh, across Australia, not just in Victoria. And then at the same time, as you've identified, you've got the brakes being slammed on the supply side. We know housing construction is down at 1980s levels uh, and you've got all of the red tape, the taxes that exist on uh, construction constructing new houses in Victoria, but, you know, just as importantly on on uh, those who want to invest in new properties. So, you know, it's just basic supply and demand. If you push demand up and you bring supply down, uh, you're going to get shortages and you're going to have price rises. Um, that's exactly what's happened. And it feeds into the broader issue, Rita, which is that Victoria is Australia's economic basket case. And this just reinforces that reality. <laughs>